What's up you guys, the Trey here, <clears throat> and as you can tell by the title of the video, today my dad and I, well, can't tell who all is going, but my dad and I are going to the Ohio Renaissance Festival, or fair as it's listed online. Uh, nope, it is festival. Those are uh, coupons, I got a couple of them. But... By the way, I apologize if, if here in a sec I start to sound like I'm dying because putting my shoes on. Uh, it's not easy when you're as fat as I am. So, but hey, I come by it honestly. But yeah, we are going to the Renaissance Festival today. And the vlogs are finally back. I don't. I can't remember the last day that I did a, like a vlog, but I'm doing a vlog today, so you guys will get that later on. Well, I mean it is later on already because you guys are seeing this in the future. Currently, it's uh, quarter after eleven in the afternoon. You guys are probably watching this about. Uh, Seven, eight o'clock tonight at night, depending on the time zone you're in. So yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, the Renaissance Festival is like, uh, like they've got full armor jousting, uh, fourteen stages of continuous music, thrills, and hilarity. And all that. So it's like medieval type stuff. Almost. Almost. So that should be very cool. I was ugh, looking. Couldn't find my sweatshirt. So I had to put this on. Catitude makes it look gay. But anyway, yeah. This is going to be the Renaissance Festival vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it, so, uh, my dad's on his way, I will record again when we get up there, uh, until then, peace you guys. All the cars, but we are here anyway, be right back. We have made it here, you guys, we had to, I mean, it, it took us at least 20 minutes from the road to get parked. So, that's good. Yeah, we're here. We're going to go inside and see what's up. We went here years ago, but I don't really remember much from it. Except that they have giant turkey legs. <laughs> I might get me one of them. Yum, yum. Alright, I'm going to record again when we get inside. Till then, peace. Path. Both horses did dodge a little bit to the outside there. Both horses dodging to the outside, causing a little bit of a mess. Knights receiving their lances. Knights coming about. Knights charging on. A solid touch for Dan Jacklin. One point. Don't know if I got that. <laughs> I don't know if I got that. I was recording. I think Jell is going to be taking a second to wiggle her big toe. Yep, she's good. <laughs> she's good. <laughs> Dan Jacklin, will you remount? <laughs> She says yes, she's going to get back on her horse and do that. I'd be like, hell no. <laughs>
Crystal Theater ahead, 10 points to one point. Now Dame Jacqueline could remount here and possibly on horse to Theodore, taking her to the lead. This is still anybody's joke, my lords and ladies. Now, may I remind you, at the end of our show, there's a chance to help us out and actually help out the true stars of our show. Our war horses out here. Many of our horses are rescue horses from farms or bad treatment, you know, or some people that just can't take care of a horse reach out to organizations such as the Knights of Valor and ask us if we can take on their horses and bring them back to what they're meant to do. And that's carry a knight into battle, not pull a flop. Now, for a mere $10 donation, you can take a ride on one of these mighty war horses. Down here in the corner after our show, we'll be starting a line so you can take a horse ride. And this is a great way for us to help generate revenue to take care of vet bills, feeding for each of these horses eat a lot of food in one day. We're going to receive. Dame Jacqueline has received. Sir Theodore has received. Knights coming about. Solid strike for Dame Jacqueline, Sir Theodore just below the Grand Guard. I will call no points for Sir Theodore, he was just underneath the Grand Guard on that. Oh. Leaning in a little bit too hard, trying for that extra unloosing. No! Yeah. When it When it hit, it dove. So Sir Theodore, make sure your lances are in the target, it dove down after the hit. Yes, Theodore. Sir Theodore has his lance. And Jacqueline has lance in hand. Nice coming up boat! Come on, Chad! Nice coming up boat! And your first day! A solid touch for Sir Theodore, just on the outside of the Grand Guard. A miss for Dame Jacqueline. I believe this is our fourth pass. That was our fourth pass. That was our fourth pass. Open the list. Winner of the first match, Sir Theodore. Leaves Sir Theodore in there. Have him bring his horse about and hold. Come about, Sir Theodore, and hold. All right, he's good. Hand up the last to Sir Lawrence. How? Where? Sir Lawrence has received. Knights coming about. No points scored for either night. No points scored. That was all the ball game for Sir Lawrence. I hope I'm getting this. A solid hit it would have been had he been on target. Oh, would have, should have, could No points scored for each night. No points scored. I guess the target is that armor play. Knights receiving their lances. Yeah. You want to get on a horse? <laughs> Sir Lawrence has received. Knights coming about. Knights got it on. Theodore, what he should have done was bring the lance up and call for a mercy pass, but he saw Sir Lawrence started a little late and was off, so he threw his lance away. We will rerun that pass. This is still the second pass. Did they really pass? <laughs> Sir Theodore was hitting his lance. <laughs> oh, good. The sun's starting to go away. Sir Lawrence was hitting his lance. Nice coming about. Nice coming about. Just by the center of the buff for Sir Lawrence, one point. Like Go oh, 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 now you notice there's list etiquette with these horses. So when we rescue these horses, they are taught how to enter the list, charge down, walk down the list, dry pass after dry pass, and then comes the fun part, armor breaking them. Oh, Sir Theodore, the list is closed for both ends. Sir Theodore has lance in hand. Bring Sir Theodore about and let him hold. Ooh, there's a bee right in my face. Bring Sir Theodore about. 
He's coming! <laughs> go, go! Oh, 
what he wants us to do. Free verb. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's good. <laughs> seats all through here that are not like all close to the front or anything. So you don't have to stand back there like big babies. <laughs> wow. Lots of seats on the bleachers. Lots of seats back there. Look at that. Beware. It's not dangerous. <laughs> well, not really dangerous. <laughs> Good shot. The safest place actually is that far side. <laughs> and actually this is basically safe. That's basically, but even a spare dot can land back here. <laughs> like just a weird little well, then you get muddy. Much <laughs> You're not gonna get washed over back here. But you could get a little one. I like your duck. <laughs> He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of seats over there. Lots of seats in there. I sat up closer one year, first year I came here. You know, so, 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 so. Right. I'm not sure. <laughs>
Shot, you guys. There was one man the Viking who every year would hold a feast to honor their great god Odin. This was held in the footprint of Odin, left from when the world began, and the feast was called the Feast of Odin. During these days, <laughs> Think you can do that?
I'll be happy when we get back to the car and get to lean back on something. He's making a bologna sandwich with his feet. I'm recording for the vlog. I see that. <laughs> Extra mayo! <laughs> About what? The other flavor. <laughs> 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 Extra bagels. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up when we get home. Damn, weren't on there before. 
<laughs> That's gotta be hot.